Hello viewers, let's learn about quick sort today. So quick sort, sometimes called partition exchange sort, is an efficient uh, sorting algorithm. It is developed by British computer scientist Tony Hoare in 1959. It is a it is a commonly used algorithm for sorting. When implemented well, it can be about two or three times faster than its main competitors, competitors such as merge sort and heap sort. Quick sort falls in the category of divide and conquer algorithm. It works by selecting a pivot element from the array and then partitioning on the other element into two sub arrays accordingly, according to whether they are less or greater than the pivot. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. So in any given unsorted array, we need to find the pivot first. We can select pivot randomly from any of the points. It can be 10 or 70 or uh, what I mean is it can be the first index or the last index of the error. And once we select the pivot, after that we need to compare each element and we'll see uh, with the help of com uh, by comparing it with pivot, whether it is greater than or less than pivot. If it is greater than pivot, then it will go to the right of pivot. If it is less, then it will go left of the pivot. Okay. Now here in an unsorted array, suppose seven is the pivot, in that case, after comparing every value, uh, which is greater than seven will we'll move to right and less than seven will move to left. So seven will get its position. Now we just need to sort these, uh, the left array and the right array. Okay. And again, we'll find the pivot order. So this is divide and conquer. Uh, this works on divide and conquer. Okay. Now, this is another example where we select the pivot and then we compare every element with the pivot. Okay. And once any uh, element is found less than or greater than we exchange it. So let's try to write a program out of it. Here I'll write int error and I'll initialize it. Okay, so we know that this is not sorted array. Okay, now let's try to write a quick sort for it. Okay, so write public static int This will take left, right, okay, and let's call it from here. Quick sort, and it will it, uh, it will take error. Then the left will be index zero, and the right will be error dot length minus one and this will return okay and what I'll do I'll uh, just print I'll print this System dot out dot print i uh, let's return this will return an array. So I'm sorting this array, so I'll return the same sorted array. Now as we know, first of all, we need to select, create the pivot. Okay. So I'll create a pivot and pivot equal to, yeah, I'll select the pivot ARR and I'll select uh, the middle element as the pivot, for example. Right, left plus right divided by two. Okay. Now, 
we need to partition it and index what will be the index of partition let's try to see that index will be i'll create a partition arr left right pivot and then i'll call the quick sort recursive view left arr left and then till index minus 1 Sort and let's do right. Okay. Now let me define this partition method. Static int partition and I'll return the index. It will be just int. And here I'll take int. Yeah, left and right and pivot. Now, till and here I take if left is greater than equal to right, return error. One left, left one equal to right. One, and then I'll compare pivot with the left pivot with with the left array and the right array. So while pivot while the error left is greater than Left pivot. So if that is the case, then I need to increment because left side anyway we need. <coughs> Lesser than pivot. Then while here. Right is greater than pivot. Right minus minus. Okay, then we do switch and go to next index. Now here we will compare if error left less than equal to error right. Then we need to switch the value. So here I'll take temp equal to error right, and then error right equal to error left, and error left equal to error. Then, okay, so we'll swap the values if left is, and then I'll do right minus minus and left plus plus. Okay. Uh, so what I need to return? I need to return from here. Return left. Okay. So I'll compare it. If I found the value which is less than right, then I'll swap the values. And here I found the index, uh, the pivot. Then I find the index where I need to partition, and then I, I I use it recursively. Okay. So let's try to run this program. I'm not using any ID uh, intentionally. Uh, because uh, ID gives you lots of help that I don't want. 
So you may find some syntax error. Okay. So here I fix out zero to error dot length minus one result array which I'm returning. I'm returning the same integer array that I had. Okay. Let's first uh, print this array at least. The unsorted array. It's taking some time, around 20 seconds, almost every time I try to run it. And uh, I'm using editor of tutorial point for this. See here, this has printed. Okay. Now, I need to find why it's not uh, printing the result error. Quick search. I passed error, then left. Uh, was zero and then the right was error dot length reflected uh, then uh, left right report minus minus if so Okay. Yep, this was error. So let me try to add one value here. Print ln sort only value. Okay. And uh, here I'll just add this. We can see that uh, the value got sorted. I'm just formatting it so that we can get the sorted value properly. Again, it will take around 20 seconds. So first of all, this will get printed. Okay, so this was non sorted and this is sorted one. Okay, so we have, uh, I guess there is some error. One, two, three, four. Two, then here, then five, and three, two. Okay.
yeah now it's sorted so today we learned how to do a quick sort and uh, the algorithm says first of all you need to create a pivot select the pivot and then partition it and uh, do it recursively and sort the value left and right array recursively okay so this is about quick sort so thank you guys for watching and in the next video we will see some more data structure problems thank you